yourself going on this, ooh, let's do this, let's do this activity. This will be great, you would like this, this will be fun. What are we doing, raising Mozart here? I mean, it just seems to be too much. God bless Michael Phelps' mother. You know, <laughs> I did. No. Well all the time. It's a drag, man. Hey there, it's Natalie from Work at Mom. And I love today's topic because I obsess about it a lot, so um, I love that we can all now obsess about it together. What I'm curious in your opinions about is this whole idea of overscheduling our children. In the interest of full disclosure, my daughter um, goes to preschool, she's four and a half, so that's five days a week. I don't think that's overscheduling. And then she has ballet once a week, gymnastics once a week, and music once a week. All of these activities take place Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So every weekend we definitely feel like, oh crap, you know, we always have somewhere to be. And I think as with everything in parenting, I'm not sure there's a fine balance. I think that's a, a bunch of crock. There isn't. Um, it's just trying to figure out how to juggle it all and what's enough, what's too much. Now I'm just going to lay out my mommy judgment on you. Uh. I think your kid's overscheduled. I really do. Um, on a couple levels. Number one for her and number two for your family. I know my daughter, she's three, she's in preschool right now, five days a week. And I've got friends who are always like, hey, do you want to meet us for this really fun gymnastics class on Saturdays? The kids love it. And I'm like, no. Because we've had to adhere to a schedule for five days and not up for it. Kind of want to veg. One child has been perpetually on the brink of being overscheduled, and the other two have been tagging along. Having said that, I am a big believer in hanging out. The eldest gets up and goes and does whatever he wants, and the rest of us stay in our pajamas until it's dinner time. I mean, maybe we take it too much in the other extreme, but we do hang out a lot. I do think that um, there is kind of a, a limit to pushing the kids, and I said to my husband the other day, when does our daughter just play? Like, when do we give her time? Do we give her enough time to just, I don't know, hang around and play her stuff or just have a play date with no activity, no crafting activity, no educational activity? And we figured that, yeah, I think we do. We try to have one weekend uh, day, afternoon, where there's nothing scheduled and we sort of just get to hang around. Before my daughter was in preschool, I did, we did the dance recital, we did music class, all that stuff, running around. And it was fun, some of it was fun, some of the classes were lame, but it was good. But now that I'm paying more than most universities for her preschool, forget it. Our daughter is dying to take dance or art or ballet or gymnastics. That's what she really wants to do is gymnastics. Here's the catch. I don't have any money. I'm unemployed. I, the only gymnastics class she's ever been to was a year ago when for her birthday, my mom gave her a series of gymnastics class and she was so into it and her friends were into it because they've been going forever and it was so exciting until the last week and everyone's like are you coming to the next one i was like uh no there's definitely a lot of peer pressure we live in um what i call an overachieving community where you know it's great schools are great and parents are very involved and everybody wants the kids to succeed but I do find myself worrying about this quite a bit. Natalie, I think that also we're in a very competitive environment. Not competitive, but um, it's slightly affluent, so people do expect to have a whole lot of activities going on. There was a mom I'd spoken to recently, one of her best buddies, she's going to come over and play. She has to go walking every day, one hour between, I don't know what it was, it was like 3.30 to 4.30, and I'm like, well, it's getting dark, and now we don't have playtime, and instead of your regimented walk, why don't they just go in the backyard and play tag and be, um, I don't know, what's the word? Children. Join the Momversation at momversation.com.